Well, hello there, my darlings. Happy Thursday to you. Welcome to another video on the channel. A brand new family called the Roomies. Three gorgeous men, including the sexy gardener that I know you've all been waiting for today. For let's build the world. Welcome. <laughs> I still, that will never not be funny to me. I don't know why, <laughs> I don't know why I had to go with that kind of intro, but I did. I just did. And it's there. And it's here to stay. You know, I think there'd be many of you who were upset if I got rid of that intro now. I've got new lighting. I don't know if you can notice, but I'm a bit better lit. Um, Bearing in mind, once the summer comes, I'm going to start using natural light a bit more. But now when it's like a bit crappy out there, it's spring, it's on its way. Like, I've just got a new light from Elgato, so I've got two of the lights that I wanted. So I just feel a bit more better lit. Ignore the hair. This is just a look at the fucking state of it. It looks like an armpit. I'm not for it. It needs a cut. I'm fed up with cutting it myself. I want this panty to be over so I can go and see my hairdresser and sort this barnet out because it's absolutely embarrassing. It really is. Anyway, I think you guys are going to be excited about today because we are indeed getting some new characters into this save file. Three gorgeous guys who we can all swoon over. Um, they're going to be living in another area in Willow Creek. Probably going to go for a shotgun style house, but maybe, mm, maybe make it a little bit wider than what a shotgun house normally would be. So it's kind of the shotgun style-esque um, kind of home. That's what we're going to go for today, my darlings. Yes, we are indeed. Yes. Anyway, without further ado, let's just get into game and we're going to start building. Okay, my darlings, here they are. Here are the lads, the roomies. These are who we're going to be building a house for today that I think they're absolutely iconic. This here is the sexy gardener that we have all been waiting for. Now, this is Jean-Paul Hawthorne. <laughs> we had to get a Jean-Paul character in here. Let's just pause it for one second. Um, he's in the skimpiest of outfits because he does like to pull the first out of everybody across the land. He knows he's good looking. He's a little bit conceited, I would say. I've actually made him a kleptomaniac as well. So he does maybe we could get that into this. Oh, look at him looking at us. Oh, stop it. I'm getting very shy. <gasps> Especially with your tits up, darling. I'm absolutely for hairy chested tit out. I really am. Anyway, I reckon he's a bit of a lad. He's a bit of a chauvinistic. He's not. I wouldn't say he's very loyal to his mum and stuff. He, like he loves his mum. He's not a bad person to any like female, any gender, anything. But he's just he knows he's good looking. He works on that. He plays to that as one of his advantages. Um, he does steal the odd thing here and there um, from rich people's houses. So I would definitely like to come that. I'd definitely like to play him. Um, in one of the Let's Plays, when we start the Let's Plays, when this series is over. I want to do a few Let's Plays with this. So I would like him to go around to the richer houses and maybe steal a few items. Um, he's a good guy. He is. He's a, he's, a, he's a good guy. He's not a bad guy. But yeah, I reckon that's where the character where Jean-Paul is. I mean, he's absolutely iconic. And I had to put him in the skimpiest of outfits, including those shiny shorts. Just And also, we'll, we'll have a little check out of the butt while we're here. We may as well. There we go. Oh, stunning. Thank you so much for showing us that, Jean-Paul. I hope you don't mind. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think he's gorgeous. Absolutely love him. I gave him all his skills, all of his traits. His traits actually are, well, his skills first. He's leveled up in charisma, dancing, gardening, flower arranging, fitness, all of that kind of business. Um, and to go along with his storyline and stuff into sports. So I've given him like snowboarding skills and whatnot. His traits are kleptomaniac, romantic, loves the outdoors, and then obviously he gets the collector one when you do pick the aspiration, which is the gardening one. So that there, my darlings, is Jean-Paul, and I'm I'm just absolutely for him. I really am. I mean, oh, I reckon he's of, like, Brazilian descent as well. I reckon he's mum and dad are both Brazilian, but yet they live in America now. So I reckon that's where he gets his beautiful, gorgeous, good looks from, because as we all know, the Brazilians are just absolutely beautiful. They really are. Anyway... Moving on to his roommate, we'll start off. Let's um, let's get a bit of face going though. <laughs> Just show <shall> we? <laughs> so this here, my darlings, is Akito 
Tanaka, I nearly called him Akita, and that's not him. That's a that's a dog breed, my love. But um, yeah, Akito is gay. I forgot to even say. I reckon Jean Paul is straight, straight, but he has questioned his sexuality before and maybe dabbled around and put his toe in. That sounds <laughs> not like that, because that would be weird. Um, but yeah, um, but Akito is definitely gay, definitely gay, and these two here really look after him Akito came here from japan um many many years ago with his parents and he's just struggling his parents didn't accept that he was gay he got kicked out of the house uh and he met these two in college he put himself through college these have both gone to college as well to learn various things i haven't really thought about that but Akito is yeah he's a bit young he's a bit naive to things but these two here really really look after him and make him feel welcome. They're best mates, all of them, these three. Um, and I think with Akito, I'm going, I haven't put him in a career yet. I think as we build the house, I think I might sort of slip him into a career somewhere. But because of his skills and stuff, I made him quite high up in um, programming and video gaming and stuff. So I think I'm going to go down that route of maybe being like a game developer or a game developer in training or something. I'm unsure yet. I'm unsure on what we're going to do with him. I'm not quite there with that storyline with Akito, but I love him. He's so cute. He's so cute. He's got a lovely face and I'm absolutely for it. So welcome Akito to the save file. Yes, indeed. Now this lovely, lovely man. <laughs> this is Red. Red Mulligan. Red Mulligan is... Oh, sorry. I just booped my mic. That's going to be annoying. I'm so sorry. Um... Red Mulligan is just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I absolutely love red hair on me on anybody. Red hair is just beautiful. Can we have your eyes open, please? Thank you. Now, Red is an absolute icon. He's a big friendly bear. He absolutely loves everyone around him. Um, I reckon Red is maybe one of those people that just kind of drifts through life into various different jobs. He never feels right in work where he's working. He's got his fingers in all the pies. He's straight as well, by the way. Um, I reckon Red kind of like does odd jobs here and there. He, I've put his skills up like high in fabrication and mixology. So maybe he works in bars and, you know, he's good on the guitar as well. So maybe he does a bit of singing. He's really high up with handiness, as I said. Oh, I didn't put fabric. I did fabrication. So nine. So maybe he makes crafts and stuff as well and sells them. A bit of woodwork here and there. He's just got all of his fingers in the pies, to be honest with you. And he's just a big, friendly red bear. And I'm absolutely for it. Now, I know there's been a few of you saying, you need to get some more curvier sims. And I completely agree. We need some body positivity in here. And that's why I've brought red into the picture as well. Because I just think he's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. And all this body hair, if you're wondering, by the way. Got body hair on all of them is from a creator called Lumia Sims. Um, best body hair for me out there. And I don't know why The Sims 4 doesn't have body hair yet. It still absolutely annoys me to this day. But yes, these are the guys, my love. Of loves. Honestly, of obviously, the storylines will progress as we'll build in the house. We'll make up some stories. So guys, feel free, as always, in the comments to get what you think they should all do together and... Yeah, I just, and what, where you think their life stories are, what you think of, maybe Akito could do for a job or, but I love the fact that he's a kind of a bit of a drifter, fingers in all the pies, working in bars, maybe doing a few hardware shops or something like that kind of thing. I'm thinking like that, to be honest with you. Um, But yeah, I love them. But obviously the main character from this household will be Jean-Paul because he is indeed the sexy gardener. Um, Just look at that face. I'm absolutely for it with the curly hair and the freckles. I'm just for it. Really am. So welcome, my darlings. And this is the lot over here where we're going to be building in a sec. So yeah, I think without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so here we are. We are going to make a start today. Obviously, as you guys probably learned by now, um, the first part of these builds, we don't tend to do a lot in them, to be honest. But we're going to try and get a little bit done today. And it's not going to be a difficult house to build hopefully because it's quite uh well it's all one level for a start shotgun houses and with shotguns i think the term comes from the fact that the hallway you should be able to kind of shoot a shotgun down the hallway and reach the other end so we're going to try and make that come through with this build it might change here and there i don't know um it's going to be quite long it's going to be a quite a long house and i think what i'll do is probably shift this over this way a bit more and have a garden on the side. I reckon this place is not going to be... It's going to be a bit 
Grody. You can imagine with three lads living together, it would get a bit ugh, get a bit nasty. Not all lads, especially not the gays. Um, <laughs> but I want that to kind of come through with here. So that's what we're going to do. Yes. Yes, we are indeed. So I'm going to start mapping out a floor plan. So that's probably how wide I want the house. I'm thinking the door on the front would have to be that gorgeous Strangerville door. Oh, yes, it does. Look at that. Fits in there an absolute dream, I tell you. And what about the windows? What does the Strangerville medium windows look like again? I can't remember, but we're going to have a look. So the same ones that we used on, um, well, we've used on several, actually. If I can maybe, hmm, the only problem is I'm not going to be able to do a hallway there. I might have to make it one tile wider. One tile wider. Yeah, we're going to have to. So it will be quite a wide shotgun. Shotguns, from my understanding, are usually a little bit more um, compact. A little bit more compact than what we've got going on here. But I don't care. We're going to do it anyway. Don't think we're going to go for green. I do want to get a bit of red in this house. I think red and white, I think, would look lovely with this house. So I think that's what we're going to do with a nice black roof. Maybe. Maybe indeed. Okay, so here we are. Ready? Go! No. <laughs> so I'm going to put that to there and then go to there and then have this as the kind of corridor that goes all the way down. I may do like a little outbuilding moment with like a toilet and maybe a little patio or something i don't know but we're going to carry on we're going to carry on and see what we get see what we get now is that going to be a big enough living area i reckon it might be you know living area kitchen diner it's going to be quite a simple floor plan but i'm all for that to be honest kitchen diner and we need three bedrooms they don't necessarily have to be big bedrooms because i'll Oh, I was going to say single beds, but I would imagine these lads might want to bring boys and girls home. So I might make them a bit more substantial. So maybe I could go a little bit. Let me get a bed out just for reference. Let's get a bed out for, so we can measure. Let's get rid of Strangerville for goodness. Thank you. And just get a double bed. Oh, that's massive. So yeah, I could go this big with the bedrooms actually. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I could do three of them side by side here and that would be absolutely fine. And then I think I will do a little bump out over this way with the toilet and stuff in. Yeah, I think I might do that. I think I might. So what we're going to do, I'm going to get rid of this bed so I don't copy it over. I'm just going to copy the bed, the bedrooms right next to each other like that. Stunning, stunning, stunning. It's a very long house, but I'm for it. I really am. I do. I like them long. I can't go a day without getting some filth in, can I? Well, you know, you guys know me by now. You know, you know me by now. You knows me. <laughs> you knows me by now. <laughs> so I'm going to go to here. There's going to be the bathroom and then the shotgun all the way, all the way down. So it is like a large one. So I may even, do you know what I might do? I'm going to knock down this wall and just have that open. So you walk straight into the living area. I do want to get a bar and stuff in here. It's going to be a bit of a party pad for these lads, I think. So I think that would have to make that apparent. And then we can get a great door there as well. Now, Strangerville does come with that other beautiful door. I don't know if it comes in a red, though. Oh, well, slap me on the tits with a feather. Tickle me on the tits with a feather, even. It does. Oh, how fantastic. Yes, I'm for it. Um... I could put another like little bit on the other side and this could be a house shaped like a peen. But we're not going to go down that route today. Not at all. <laughs> not at all, because that's pretty filth as far as I'm concerned. Um, And like, I think I might widen this because I'm thinking about also now maybe half walling. Uh, what tall? What, what tall? <laughs> Great bit of English there, Aiden. What tall? <laughs> I think I want to like do a half wall in between the kitchen and the living area. And then maybe just knock out this there like that. Yes, this might work. Very like, oh, that bloody sparkle. I thought I turned you off. Thank you for several guys that let me know about that as well. One sec. I've disabled it and it the floor still, still seems to be sparkling. Oh, great. 
Another bug. Another bug. We love bugs, don't we, in Sims 4? Oh. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, let's lift this up to the nines. Is that a bit high? No, that's perfect, darling. Yes, it is. Underneath, I'm going to go for a drafty boy, I think. I think I'm going to go for this one. Just so it's going to get some air circulating underneath of this build. And we're going to go for a nice white paneled wood. Now, I don't know what wood we're going to pick there. I nearly burped very loudly. Excuse me. Well, it's a good job I did edit that out. That was an absolutely filthy burp. It really was. It really was. If you would like to hear me burp, come and watch me on Twitch. <laughs> because I can't edit them out then. I am lying, actually. I do tend to mute myself when I burp on Twitch as well. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm going to go for a bit more of a grody looking panel as well. This one here from Island Living, which I love, by the way. I think we'll do this. Yes, we will. Oh, it's stunning. Stunning. Um, can, it, it, can I, why can I not I'll drop a foundation? It's 2021, for goodness sake. Bloody trying to eye drop freezes and foundations, honestly. You'd think it was rocket science. <laughs> Right, anyway, okay. So, let's get a shotgun roof line going on it. I think what I'm going to do is do one of these. Like this. I'm going to pull flaps down, I think, just for decoration purposes. We're going to whiffle it all the way back. Like there. That's far too tall for a shotgun. They seem to have a bit more, like, low-level roofing. Around about, like, there. And then they also have like a D. Well, they don't always, but from the pictures and stuff that I've researched, they all seem to have like a little bit at the top here as well. Just like this. Oh, yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, I think I'll carry that all the way through here, though, as well. So it pops out the end there, too. Yeah, no, that's kind of fine. Yeah, I might just pull this just down one more. Yes, that's the, that's the true. That's the roof line I wanted. Um, and I was going to go for a dark black roof. I think that might be the vibe that we're going to go for today. Um, let's have a look. Let me see you. Oh, I do think so. I do. I do think so. And I, but I think what I want to do, actually, let's pull you out. One, two, three. And the same with you. Oh, that's only two, isn't it? Oh, no, that is three. Okay. Because I do want to do a little porch moment there as well. Yes, that's nice. What I put a little bit of red um, roofing in that bit there. Oh, do you know what? I don't mind that. Don't mind that at all. Yeah, I'm for it. For it. We're doing it. It's happening. It's here to stay. <laughs> oh, I'm very dramatic, aren't I? It's been a long day today. It's been a long day. Um, I'm recording this very late as well. So you'll have to excuse me on how late this video is probably going to come out. Uh, my apologies, but sometimes you just can't help it. You can't help it in content creation. You've just got to go with the flow, love. You really do. Okay, some stairs coming up. You want to do some, like, stairs that you can see through, like this? Kind of do, but I think those look a little bit too... Maybe these ones would be better. I want them to look a little bit more... Hang on. Where's the island living ones? Oh, that's the seasons ones. Did I use them? Is it these? Oh, is it these I want? No, it's not. These ones. This is the one I want because it's got a little detail on the front. That's better. Yes. Something like this. Let me have a little look. Do you want to do three maybe? Oh, yeah. I kind of like that balance of them. Yeah, because it's just got that little bit of detail on it. What island living fence did we get again? I can't remember what island living fence. So we're going to have a look just in case it does fit in here an absolute dream. No. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Oh, well. And that one there, definitely not. Um, let me find the perfect fence. Oh, that one there. That one there from Snowy Escape. I do like that. And main reasons being I went for this one because it's got a matching banister. Unlike the majority of the fences in Sims 4. <laughs> Still salty about that, to be honest. Still salty. Right. I like that. I do want... There's going to be access out from this side here. Um, to be able to get into the garden. So we do need maybe like a little porch area here. Maybe not so much a covered porch. I don't think I'm going to cover it. I might do. But 
I think we need like a little porch moment over on the side as well. I'm not going to wrap it around either. I do want a bit of do want a bit of separation between them. And I'm going to do a high fence here anyway to hide the garden because it's going to be a bit of a party pad. So I might slip that fence in now while we're here. And we'll use the high fence of dreams. This one here. I think that would be the only way, to be honest. And I'm going to start you. What right about there, I think? Let me see. Yes. Start you there. And I'm going to whiffle you all the way around here. So it's quite a substantial garden, isn't it? Which is going to be cool because we can add it. Oh, shit. There's a door there. I forgot about you. Do we need a door there? Do they really need one? I could put a window there instead. Shush. <laughs> Just shush. Right, we're doing that. Yes, and then we're going to go all the way around to there like that. Oh, yes, I think so. Oh, it's going to be a dream. Really is. Nice tree in there as well. Maybe a nice willow like this in the garden. Would look nice on the street. And I'll do that for all of the lots as well. I think this one here, is got, I'm going to fit two on here. I'm going to put two builds again on there as well. So we can fit as many families as we possibly can into the save file. It's very important. I'm going to be doing exactly the same for... Um, oh, perfect pillar. I'm going to be doing exactly the same for Brindleton Bay as well, which is going to be the next world that I'm going to be building. I cannot wait to build that world. Doing a Cornish-inspired world in Brindleton Bay is going to be amazing. The characters that I already have planned for it is going to be iconic. I was telling a few of the guys on stream last night some of my plans. And I really want to do like some kind of urban legend with that story, with that save file. We're going to do an urban legend with that save file. So... Lots of ghostly happenings are going to be happening there. And I'm for that idea. I really am. Yeah, I like those pillars. It's a bit annoying that I have to put the pillars like that in the middle. But I'm going to do it anyway. It's fine. Okay. We need a spandrel. A spandrel of dreams. Something semi-ornate. Maybe this one. Oh, yeah. I do like that. Yeah, we'll pop this one here on. And then I'm going to click on each post to get that detail coming through. Come through. Come through. There we go. Oh, she's cute. I'm for her. I really am. Now, with the um, living room, I am going to do a chimney. So I am going to put a little chim cheeky chimney there as well. I'm going to do that in stone. So underneath, I'm going to do you in the seasons. Hopefully, I can pick the right stone color without getting a god-awful um, trim on it. There we go. That should be all right. And then I think I'll have to pick the normal. Um, yeah, this one. There we go. Oh, she's not too bad at all. I'm for her. Really am. Absolutely for her. And I think I'm going to flop on the matching chimneys here as well. And then flop them in a half wall too. That's what's going to happen. Yes, it is. So, yeah, guys, help me out with these storylines. What do you want to see from these guys? What do you want to see them doing? What do you want to see them doing <laughs> who do you want to see them doing more like <laughs> all right <laughs> calm yourself down darling <laughs> yes yeah that's cute okay okay happy with that i'm gonna start mapping in the floor now so i'm gonna use the sidewalk slabs first of all here and i think i might just do that whole area so it kind of connects it in even more there. And maybe I could park a couple of bikes out here. I wish we had motorbikes. This would be the perfect house for a motorbike. It really would. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I think I'll chain their bikes up here. Maybe put the bins here as well so I can put a gate here. Oh, it's coming together, loves. It is. It is coming together. It really is. Now, do I want to do the blue fence with this? That looks quite cute, actually. Yeah, I'm going to put you there, though, because I think... Where I want to put the stairs here is going to be there anyway. So that would kind of make sense. If I can put the stairs there. Yes, we'll do that. And then let's get the same trim on. I mean, the same banner stairs and also the same fence. Going all the way around here as well. Yeah, that's cute. Tree there. So I'm going to go and find that willow tree. I don't know where it is. I'll, I'll have a look. Oh, and there she is. Yes, that's the perfect tree for there. Kind of matches in really nicely gonna do a hedge across here we're gonna also actually get the willow creek box in there we go um what color tones do you come in they're all pretty awful to be honest so i think i'll go for the greeny gray i'm gonna pop you just there next to next to here lovely we're gonna put a nice hedge in here low maintenance guard well no not necessarily actually because jean paul 
is a gardener. So I reckon he does have to have his own little gardening moment, maybe at the end of the garden over here. We're going to do a big barbecue area, maybe a hot tub. It's going to be amazing. I'll roof that up in a sec as well. So just give me a chance. Give me a chance, darlings. For goodness sake. <laughs> How are you all doing today anyway? I hope you're all well. Um, At this moment, I haven't gone through all the comments from my last um video so please bear with me while i do that i will get those um comments read and answered and reacted to uh just thank you for always leaving lovely comments you're all amazing you really are and you make me piss myself you're so fucking funny you make me wee myself you really do <laughs> oh look at you you're looking smashing darling you really are yeah, that's enough. And in fact, no, I just want to get a bit more of a higher um, moment in here. Maybe using a few of these, actually. The Bush of Absolute Dreams from base game. I love it. Yes, 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 yes. I like that. Just adds a little bit of difference. Stops it looking too kind of cartoony and uniformish. I prefer things to look a little bit natural when I do landscape. Oh, that's stunning. Oh, you're beautiful. This house is coming along quite well, isn't it? I may do, I've just had a thought, I may do some kind of roof detail, um, like this kind of vibe as well, like going up on the roof areas. I could do the big one here, we'll pop you to about there because you'll come out the flap else. Oh, you're a bit big, love. You're a bit big. I'm going to size you down. You're a bit chunky. I do like them big, but that was a little bit chunky for me. I'll do you like that. Oh, do I want to do it all the way across here? Like, so, oh, I've got to size them down and place them manually, though, because they won't fit when they're like that. They'll... Oh, no, they do. Oh, slap me down with a feather again. Absolutely, darling. I like the white trims on this as well. I don't think I'm going to go for um, a black trim. I was thinking black trim, but no, I think I like the pop of white. It kind of helps the siding a bit then as well. Um, yeah, I do like this. I'm going to put a satellite dish on top as well. I reckon these guys would have satellite TV. Um, <laughs> in 2021, you would hope so. Well, no, that's very, well, no, actually, I'm going to retract that comment. No, you don't have to have satellite TV in 2021 because some people can't bloody afford it out there, Aiden. For goodness sake. Yeah, that's cute. That just adds a little bit of detail. Yeah, I'm for that. Oh, blue with the sniffies. Did you hear him then? Bless him. He's so fucking cute. He really is. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Let's get that satellite dish while we're here as well. I'm going to plop it at the side here, I think. Just around there. Yes. Oh, this is a vibe. It's coming through. Let's do a bit of terrain painting out this side. Um, I think I'm going to go for this color earth instead of the darker one. I'm not even going to soften it down, darling. I'm just going to use it default. You can hear drilling now. You probably can't because it never picks up in my audio. But, um, again, my neighbours are going to hell with their new house. I wish them luck with that renovation because, my God, it was a task, my loves. An absolute task and a half. It really was to renovate mine. And I'm still doing it now. We're still renovating now. Um, right, I want a bin out here. Um, I want to use a big bin. It would kind of make sense having... No. It's a bit of a small house for a big bin. I think I'll just do a couple a couple of these ones like this. I'll put them in a jaunty angle moment there. Lovely. Yes, I'm for that. Um, and we, did, we were going to get some bikes out, weren't we? Let's have a little look. Transportation. Um, maybe a train. <laughs> a, a plane. <laughs> a boat, perhaps. But no, we'll go for a bike and not that bike that came with Eco Living because or Eco, I'm calling it Eco Living from now on. Um, it's what it should have been called, to be honest with you. But um, that bike from Eco Lifestyle, whose idea was that? Whose idea? I would like to have a word. I would like to have a little word with whoever's idea that bike was because it was just not the one. It really wasn't. Yeah, we'll do a couple of them and we'll put them side by side here. This was probably the lad's form of transportation is definitely bikes. I would have preferred a motorbike, but we can't be fussy in this day and age. I'm actually looking for a new bike for myself at the minute as well. 
Um, but they're all so bloody expensive. They really are. Yeah, that's cute. They'll probably get them stolen. We can pretend that they're chained up. We'll pretend that they're chained up to the to the fence. Yeah, cool. Okay, cool. I think rather than going for tiles like I did with the others, because we're in a bit more of a left left less affluent area of the Willow Creek, I think I'm just gonna go for a wood on this bit here. And maybe a bit of a weathered wood as well. Did this one come in a white? It came in a blue white, didn't it? Oh no, that's not bad actually. I'm gonna go that way with it though. Oh, that's not bad at all. Yeah, we'll do that. And the same with the decking on this side as well. I'll do that over here. There we go, darling. Lovely. Okay. Oh, it's coming together nice. Really nice. Yes. Okay, so what I'm going to go and do now, we're going to start placing the windows in the other areas. Is that creeping in there? Oh, it is. Look, you little shit. Didn't even see that. How dare I? And you call yourself a Virgo. You should be ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's start getting in some windows. I'm going to pull out a few windows that I think would look cool. So I'm going to use these windows here. But with these, I reckon there might be a little bit of crime in this neighborhood. So I'm going to, oh God, use these little window bars up on the windows. I'm stealing this idea, by the way, from my dear friend Pug Owned on Twitch and on YouTube. She is doing a Willow Creek build at the minute. And I saw her doing this to the windows. And I did warn her. I said, I'm going to steal your idea. She was like, go ahead, darling. <laughs> so I am. Thank you, Pug. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to steal your idea. <laughs> oh, and with the little window shade as well, I think. Just to like keep out. Keep out the um, hot air. Or hot sun even, not air. I'm just spelling out a lot of hair. Spilling it. Well, I am spilling out a lot of hair at the minute, but I'm also spilling out a lot of air. <laughs> Hot air. Hot air. Yes. <laughs> I don't know why I'm making that noise. I'm just, just very strange. I'm just very, very strange. And usually, you know, my favourite people are strange, so. What more can I say? I, I pressed that one. Is that the right height? I I do believe it is, yes. These little um, iron bars are from Strangerfield, by the way. Um, so, yeah. They're in debug or live edit. Can't remember which one. Um, wish they could have just gave us to them with a snap point that we could just lift them up on the window. You know, that would have been a lot more easier. Me having to do this manually. <laughs> manually. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like that. And we'll do the same here. For both of the bedrooms one there stunning and one there gorgeous gorgeous and then there is a bedroom here maybe this can be jean paul's bedroom just so he's got a little bit more light in here as well i'm not having favoritism here but jean paul is fucking hot so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that <laughs> yes i am indeed <laughs> <laughs> oh, what we like. We're a hoot. That's what we're like, darling. We're a hoot and a holler in this place. Right, I am putting a door here. I've decided. Change my mind. Change my mind. We're doing a door. Yes, we are. And then I can put steps there as well. Can I squeeze in a pair of steps there? I don't think I can, actually. I might be able to if I pull this out and I'll do them off to the side. So we'll do that. We'll do that instead. Um, and I am just going to go and put that door in that we um, originally put in here. I just think it would work. Where's the red one? There you are, darling. Lovely. With these stairs. Stunning. Oh, blue. That's a very sniffy. Oh, I don't know. Maybe the stairs would fit there. Can I just pop you down a minute, darling? Just fucking go away. There you are. Right. I might be able to squeeze them in. Will I? Will I? Willie? No. Damn. You. You. Shake my fists. Or just fist. Just fist. Not both of them, darling. That would look a little bit weird. <laughs> that would look a little bit weird. Blue is staring at himself in the mirror. Yes, I know. You are very beautiful. Extremely beautiful. I'm glad that you can see it as much as I can. Bless him. Just looked at himself in the mirror. He's so cute. There he is. Anyway, stair railings. Yeah, that should be okay. It's a bit annoying having to... 
Ooh. Do you know what I'm going to do? Just because it would make a bit more sense to me. I'm going to drag you across to like there. And maybe get rid of the that there. You know, so that is access out. I don't want this to be like being able to get in by anybody. Unless they climb up there, obviously. So I kind of enjoy that a bit more. Yes. Yes, I'm for it. Right, this is going to be a toilet. So I do need to put maybe a single window of this. Um, I'll pop you like there, darling. And then maybe one there as well. We've got some light going into the toilet. Now, I do need to do a door here somewhere. What door? I don't know what door to use. I do want a slidey door, to be honest with you. So maybe we could use the Moschino one or I could use this one. I could. I do want it to be glass, though. Maybe the snowy escape one instead. There isn't a snowy escape slide. Oh, no, there is. There is, Aiden. I don't know what you're going on about. Did you just hear that click then? That was my ankle. And that, my darlings, is getting old. Yes, it is. <laughs> also, again, I've been watching a lot of Juno Birch. <laughs> I've been watching older videos when I'm building because <laughs> they just make me happy. They make me extremely happy and I stand her and I always will. Okay, so I'm on the wrong thing for a start. Oh, um, where are you? Where are you? There you are. Maybe this one. Oh, it's grey. Oh, it's tiny. Why are you so small? This is small, but I wasn't expecting it to be that tiny, darling. What about you instead, then? I just wish we could have... Where's the clear ones? Put them together, for goodness sake. Just put all the packed doors together. There we go. I've gone for the snowy escape ones, but I put two of the single windows above it as well. Um, Just to meet up with the height, because it was looking a little bit weird. Um, so I'm going to go for that. And I think what we'll do is add just two more windows. Maybe like one there. Let's get this balanced nicely. Maybe one there. Oh, in fact, I kind of want these two a bit closer together. Maybe like there and there. Let me see where that's going to flood light into. Yeah, because that will kind of try and pour a bit more light into the kitchen. Which is what I want, to be honest. I'm going to boost you out for a start because we're going to put a fireplace in there. Yes! Okay, it's coming together. I think I'm going to leave this part here today. Um, I'm obviously going to be putting the, all of this detail on these windows and stuff as well. But this house is coming together. It's really cute. Really cute. I can imagine the guys living here as well. Um, they're not there anymore. They're not fishing because I'm in build mode. Oh, they were over there. But um, yeah, I'm absolutely for it. There we go, my darlings. Thank you so much for coming today. This was the first part of the roomies. We have made the exterior, really. Next time, we're going to bring this back on Monday. So I'll be back with this on Monday. Um, we'll start doing a bit more to the gardens, making the party area. I do want to make the house look a little bit more shabby. So maybe a few missing like cracks in the woods and stuff like that. I do want to do that. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's it. I'll be back tomorrow with a Design Me Devon. Um, and yes, I will leave it here. Goodbye.